Or as a listen to a police interview of Miles Bryant. He's the former Doraville police officer charged with kidnapping and murdering 16 year old Susanna Morales in 2022. 11 Lives Karis Belger has been following Bryant's story this trial uh, every day since it started a week ago and tonight she has more from the courtroom. Now there was a key witness who played an integral part in today's testimony. That was Gwinnett County Police Detective Angela Clark. Not only did Clark testify in person today, she is also seen questioning Bryant in the three hour long video that was presented to the jury. So Clark testified she began to work her way onto the case because she would constantly hear details about it from Lieutenant Xavier Biggers, who testified last week. And like Biggers, Clark mentioned it was strange that Susan had not been in touch with her friends and that there was no activity coming from her phone once she initially disappeared in 2022. In the video shown today, Clark is questioning Miles Bryant about his gun, which prosecutors say was later found by an officer near Susanna's body in a wooded area. Clark said she realized the remains belonged to Morales after hearing about details that were consistent with images taken by her friends in July of 2022, which is when she was last seen. Whew. I really didn't want it to be here. <laughs> um, and that it was, it was curly, and I knew that that was consistent with Susanna's hair. And they had also located um, fingernails with black nail polish on it. And it, they sent me some pictures of it and it was chipped black nail polish. And I knew from reviewing social media posts that her Alyssa and Kelly made the day that she was killed, um, that she had chipped black nail polish. In the video, Clark can be heard asking Bryant about whether he had seen Susanna at the apartment complex where he worked as a courtesy officer. You can also hear her repeatedly asking Bryant about phone calls that were pinged in the location of the wooded area near where Morales was found. Those calls were coming from Bryant's work phones. What we're starting to see is a little bit of the testimony from last week coming up again this week as the prosecution tries to tie up its case. Back to